Carolyn Ribeiro here from mining.com.au. Joining me this afternoon is Bright Star Resources Managing Director Alex Rivera. Alex, congratulations. Mining has officially begun at the Selkirk deposit. It's a milestone for the Menzies Gold Project and also for Bright Star. Tell us what it means to the company. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is. A, it's an exciting moment for the business. Uh, it really kicks off the transition that we're in, uh, looking to take at the moment of uh, moving from an explorer and developer through to a gold producer at Western Australia. So the first um, first operation that we're, we're conducting at the moment is at, at the Selkirk deposit. That is under a joint venture with our joint venture partners, BML. BML Ventures out of Kalgoorlie, experienced mining operators. And uh, yeah, for us, it really just marks that transition from, from an exploration company towards being a producer. And you mentioned in the ASX announcement that further opportunities at Menzies will continue to be assessed. What does this entail? So the Menzies Gold Project's got a jock resource at the moment uh, in excess of 500,000 ounces of resources all gra on uh, granted mining leases. The Selkirk deposit's actually a very small subset of that. So for us, there's a lot of other opportunities that we're assessing at the moment, um, broadly as part of a scoping study, but more so um, as in terms of near-term mining opportunities in addition to the Selkirk opportunity. So for us, the ability to, to continue to roll out potential mining scenarios at Menzies uh, is a really attractive proposition. And yesterday, you released some fresh results from Corktree Well. Talk us through those results. Yeah, so Corktree Well is located in our Laverton Gold Project. Uh, for us, those results are, are really exciting. It really just shows that the, the mineralized systems open a long strike to the north and, and at depth all the way along. So the current resource there is, is 303,000 ounces. We really see Corktree as potentially being the backbone of, of future resource growth. So that was a, a that bespoke RC drilling program had two defined aims and both were successfully completed. So for us, it really does show that the opportunity to the north is is real and we'll be um, commencing a, an air core drilling program up there in early September in order to delineate uh, targets for RC drilling. So for us, Corktree is really exciting from a, from a resource growth perspective. So you've just mentioned um, more drilling at Corktree, but moving forward, what else can mining.com.au investors expect to see from Brightstar over the next six months? So in the short term, we'll be looking to release our scoping study uh, in the next few weeks. That'll really show the, the anticipated development plan for both the Menzies and the Labs and Gold projects. So for us, it's utilising the fact that Menzies is an advanced gold project. There are um, uh, processing plants in the district that do have available capacity. So really looking at a toll milling kind of potential down at Menzies. And the, the key thing I suppose for this business in terms of a, a medium term objective is, is refurbishing and expanding our existing plant. Uh, up in Laverton. So we have a, a, a processing plant that's on care and maintenance up there. As part of this study, we're assessing the expansion of that and, and being an owner operator miner um, with a Laverton Gold Hub. So for us, first cab off the rank in terms of news flow and catalyst for the next six months is that scoping study and then really just proceeding into a pre-feasibility study. So further drilling, both infill and extensional and advancing towards production. Alex Rivera, Managing Director of Bright Star Resources. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.